Welcome to our ongoing YouTube video series on affording a business lawyer. My name is Christopher Neufeld and I am a contractual and business lawyer working with business clients the world over. Now in this particular video we're going to be discussing some another technique that's designed to help you afford and control the costs associated with dealing with lawyers and that is to prepare in advance of every meeting and every phone call that you make to a lawyer. Because as you find is most if not all business and corporate lawyers that you're dealing with they charge you on an hourly basis which means they charge you minute by minute. So you want to make the most of your time because that time is expensive. So what are you looking to do? You look to prepare and think through the questions that you want to ask the lawyer in advance. You want to work them through, write them on a piece of paper, come up with what those questions are, follow up questions that you might potentially have, clarify them, and also go through and find out whatever information that you have in your possession that you want to be addressing that could supplement it. Because really you shouldn't be looking at just putting the full onus on the lawyer. You can do that, nothing wrong with that, but that is your money that you're spending. So it's far better to get things together, get things prepared, and present it to the lawyer and have your materials available. Oftentimes you might even want to have those materials available to email to a lawyer. You might not need to email them, but you want to have it available. Another option is that video sharing. If you're video conferencing or video sharing, you could have the lawyer connect into your system and you just pull through the pages identify which sections you find of importance or relevance or where you have your questions. Have this all ready. The worst thing to do is to not be prepared when you're dealing with a lawyer because as I said you get charged on an hourly basis which means getting charged minute by minute. So you don't really want to be talking fluff or trying to find something or Say, figuring out that you didn't have the right question or not being focused yourself when you could have done that with adequate preparation in advance. So do that. Maybe even email the lawyer before and ask him, is this a particularly good time for us to talk? I want to, when's a good time? Do you need 15 minutes, half an hour, hours time? What works for yourself? And then have everything structured and set up for yourself. That is how you control your costs on a going forward basis. It might not seem like a lot, but if you have numerous conversations with the lawyer and each time you're saving five, 10 minutes, that adds up. Similarly, if you're getting all the information over to them correctly, they're not gonna be running around trying to figure things out when you've presented stuff that makes their life easier and that cuts down on the amount of time they're spending to advance and address your legal matter. Because remember, in the legal profession, time is money. And you gotta look at it that way. So control the time, get the most results out of the time that you're engaging the lawyer, and that way you save yourself money. Well, hopefully that's been uh, informative and is beneficial to yourself. Continue watching this YouTube video channel for other informative YouTube videos on how to better afford engaging a business lawyer and should you be looking for one you can always look to myself because we do work the world over in the area of business law and we do it effectively using the tools available to us the internet video conferencing email and a whole range of other things that we talk about in this series itself thank you